So we'll have a period of walking meditation now. And um, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this uh, particular kind of practice, uh, it has a very similar intention behind it to the um, the uh, say mindfulness of breathing for the sitting meditation. So we have a beautiful, uh, spacious grounds here at Amravati. So do please. Um, uh, avail yourself uh, either around the retreat center here or out in the, the meadow. Um, uh, I think in this kind of weather, it's going to be a compete. We'll be competing for shady spots, but, uh, but uh, you want to find a stretch of ground about uh, 20 or 25 yards long, and then for the period of walking meditation, just set a uh, a, a firm intention. Okay, um, for this period of time, I'll walk between you know, this uh, you know, this rock and this this tree or from the end of this building off to you know, that uh, dandelion um, so that you set a, a, a clear boundary within uh, your mind and then uh, uh, just walk uh, up and down between those two points uh, using the feeling of your feet touching the ground as a reference point just as with the sitting meditation I was talking about using the the rhythm of the breathing simply use the rhythm of the feet meeting the ground as a, a reference point, and then as you notice your attention getting distracted by the other things in the, the field around you, other people, or just stray memories or thoughts, feelings, then uh, in exactly the same spirit, as soon as you notice that the attention has drifted, uh, that the, the mind has wandered off from this time, this place, then very patiently, very um, uh, say, but very firmly, uh, with, and with a kindly attitude, bring the attention back to your feet and the the feeling of of walking along. Also, um, particularly, uh, again, in, in the in the spirit of of um, working with the mind with with kindness, it's also uh, important to um, you know, develop a, a quality of of compassion and forgiveness. So, um, the uh, the process of training the mind, there's, uh, it's about 99% failure and getting it wrong and drifting and like with most of life <laughs> and 1% getting it right. You know? And so don't think that the, the 1% is good and the rest is bad. So I would, I would encourage not to divide up um, the mind in that way or make those kind of judgments, but rather recognize this is normal. It's like if you're learning a musical instrument, then you hit a lot of dud notes. You know, you, you don't always get the the scales right, or learning a new language. Of course, you you don't quite get the pronunciation right, and you can't quite remember which word goes where and how the the, the grammar um, uh, say uh, is uh, correctly formed. Of course, we get it wrong. We don't. We don't. Le you don't learn French in a week. You know, it's like <laughs> you don't. Uh, similarly, we don't uh, don't. Uh, succeed, quote-unquote, in training the mind to, to remain attentive and alert and, and undistracted uh, just as an act of will. But it takes a tremendous amount of, of forgiveness and compassion for getting it wrong, for, for losing it, for, for being distracted. Um, so that there is a, there's a balance that we need to make between, um, let's say, making effort and bringing a, attention to the task of uh, training the the mind, training the attention to rest in the present, and that quality of uh, never mind. It's you know uh, ninety nine misses <laughs> in a row, and uh, and uh, one one success, one hit. So that uh, if we are so um, uh, if we're ba if we're holding the balance correctly, then we are applying the effort in a consistent and steady way. But that is not creating a sense of, of stress or, or um, a sense of um, you know, fear of getting it wrong or blaming ourselves for, for, for losing it and getting distracted. But more simply recognizing, oh, I've, uh, I've got lost here. Um, this is natural. This is ordinary. Um, but the, uh, though therefore to not create blame or negativity, self-criticism, have a quality of compassion, forgiveness. For us not being perfect, <laughs> and to uh, to say, okay, well, uh, I've wandered off here. The mind has drifted. Okay, begin again. So that uh, that balance is the most important thing to find, where we are being compassionate and forgiving of our uh, of our own uh, misses, our own uh, 
uh, distractions, our own imperfections, and uh, and yet uh, still making the the effort to steer towards what we see as, as wholesome and beneficial. So I feel this is a, if we can get a sense of how those work together, this provides a very strong and uh, firm basis for for uh, developing the the meditation and developing uh, the qualities of of clarity and and freedom within us.